Morning. Ooh. Right, good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. It is a cold Sunday morning, but I noticed the other day, Zach's garage having an open day, so it was rude not to get a ticket. I've never been here before. I've seen some of the cars on Instagram or whatever, but pulled in, never find it. Thank God for Google Maps. And then as I pulled in, there's a Pista, an Enzo, a 918 sitting out the front. I haven't been inside yet, but it looks like it's gonna be a good collection. Let's go and have a look. Right, so just before we head into the first building, check this out. Two of my all-time favorite Ferraris. Really nice Pista. That is a really nice spec. Just chilling next to an Enzo. What an amazing duo to start off with. Let's go and have a look inside here. Right, let's take a look in the first building. Oh my God, look at this. So, we'll start off, we've got a Lamborghini Aventador, LP700-4, just chilling right next to a Countach. And then this 50th anniversary. I thought that was a wrap to begin with, but I think that's a polished aluminium body. And then we continue down, we've got the in my opinion, one of the prettiest cars ever made, the Lamborghini Miura. And then just behind, I think, comments will uh, tell me if I'm wrong, but I think this is a Lamborghini 350 or 400 GT. And then this really nicely modified Stingray. That is lovely as well, isn't it? Look at that. What a lineup of Mercedes. Check this out. So it's an old 300S. That is like nut and bolt restoration. Looks like brand new next to a lovely 300 SL, that's really nice. And then an SLS AMG, what a lineup. Right, I mean the cars are amazing and everything is immaculate, but it's not just the cars, it's the building and the way they're being presented and stored. The building's so nice and then you've got things like old petrol pumps and all the tops for the old petrol pumps here and all the memorabilia hanging from the ceiling. It's, uh, it's a really nice place. Right, it's like an Aladdin's cave. Let's go through into, oh my God, look, another wrench. Wow. So where do we start in here? But I presume we've got to start here. Look at this Zagato shooting brake. This is a lovely spec. So you've got this like silver paint on the body, but then exposed burgundy red carbon fiber on the roof and around the seals and the splitter and everything. That looks really nice. second room this place is absolutely blowing my mind we've got a uh, Zagato shooting right there lots of old stuff that I'll be honest I'm not sure on but the way this place is presented with all these old petrol pumps and signage and everything this place is crazy it must have taken years to put this place together but what a place like I say I'm not clued up on my old stuff but look at these I mean I can appreciate it and they're lovely in such good condition really nice BMW there a really nice old Morgan three-wheeler. Have a little look down the line. What is that? Is that an old Aston Martin? I think, yeah, I think that's an old Aston Martin. That's really nice. Something that I do know more about. This is a Catrum 7 620R. I'd like to have a look at one of them. Even a little Sinclair C5. There's literally a bit of everything here. But yeah, I like that. That's really nice as well. Look at the size of this Oldsmobile. Imagine driving this thing on the UK roads, but again, it's just in pristine condition. It just looks lovely, but look at the size of it. Like I heard over somebody say, it's like the car off of the old Milky Way ever. Again, I'm gonna have to say I'm no expert, but I know this is a Lagonda. Again, it's just, it's just pristine concourse condition. And then, just chilling next to it with an old setup that looks like an old garage. Two more Lagondas. Look at that. <coughs> that is lovely. Imagine doing like the Mealy Mealy or something like that. And then this one. And then a really nice Jag. Is that the Inspector Morse car? Let's go and have a look through here. Wow. Right, these have got to be two of the most popular cars here. This is the one-to-one. -one. What a lovely spec as well. And this Regera, 
I think this is the nicest spec I've ever seen. But these are both delivery mileage cars. He was just saying, um, he was saying that he's got this on loan from a lady in Monaco. It's uh, got delivery mileage on it. She paid 1.1 million for it. And now it's worth about 10 million. But uh, yeah, they're the two cars that a lot of people have come down to see. They are lovely, but just have a look at this place. It's got a lovely Lotus Cortina. Crazy big truck with a missile on the back. Some Formula One cars. Really nice. Imagine just sitting up there, chilling, uh, having a look at your collection. But yeah, this place is just ridiculous. This is the owner chap here, just telling everyone about uh, about the collection. They're running cars, both of them. They both run, do they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, that friend of mine's car that he races that. He's just started. They're oh, dangerous, right. really dangerous. Yeah, I was going to say. Open wheels. They just touch each other and the things flip over and it's bloody terrible. I wouldn't go in it if I was paid. No, but these two, were they, they competed and won? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, Heinz felt one and one of a load of stuff. And what year is this from then? Uh, do you know what? I've forgotten. <laughs> I'll tell you. This is 89. 89. And that one is 205. I mean, the, the technology and, and safety and things has come on a long way, and look at that. Oh, yeah, this is really dangerous. Yeah. It's got no safety things at all. Yeah, no, you wouldn't want to have a crash in that, would you? No. That is, well... Just I love all your... The globes, yeah. They're well, lovely. I've been collecting a long time. Yeah. They look really globes nice. are really difficult to get. Yeah, it's Very a lovely collection. Really it's not just your cars, now. it's the collection yeah, and, the, and everything the around it. It looks lovely. Lovely condition, lovely spec on this 250 Gran Turismo. And then the uh, the only one ever made is the Renault Twizy F1. That thing is crazy. Imagine seeing that on the road. Right, so I'm not sure what other collection has two hypercars sitting there, right next to a massive American truck. Let me show you this. With, I mean, the inside's all been completely redone. And then, just for fun, there's a missile chilling on the back. Again, perfect. We, we did this because we take, we take engines out of every car we buy. We, irrespective of them we store we got a policy because they all break down otherwise. We reckon anybody else's restoration, sure, especially as American, will definitely break down. And I got fed up being found a member of the AA and no <laughs> Right, what a cool collection and a cool guy that owns them. He's going around telling everybody uh, all the information, everything about the cars. He knows everything about them. And he's just started one of his old race cars up so loud. But uh, this is the way. If you've got an amazing collection like this, props to the guy. He's showing it off and uh, yeah, inviting everyone in to see it. It's really good. <laughs> Look at these. Imagine being a little kid and getting given one of these. So these are from half-scale cars. So this is the uh, 911. Dakar and then you've got the 917k but the attention to detail on these things is crazy look at that imagine being a kid living on a big estate and getting given one of them these things are so cool they've opened up the Enzo let's go and have a look do you know the best thing about this Enzo is it's not a garage queen this thing is driven look at that what a place to be. Love to get behind the wheel of that. And then you've got the six litre V12, producing about 650 brake horsepower, I think, if I remember. Not the fastest Ferrari ever made, but to today's standards, but definitely one of my favorites. We 
just in another room now, just full of incredible cars. Everything's just pristine. I love the the petrol pump tops there. The uh, yeah, everything on display and the way it's been displayed is just crazy. Everything looks so nice. Right, I'm trying to capture the, the, this place, but I don't know if I'm doing it justice. It is literally an Aladdin's cave. Every room you walk in is just full of pristine cars, and their memorabilia just everywhere. Uh, it's just like petrol pumps they're just they're just all been restored this place has just been meticulously kind of um, planned and designed it's just such a great place I mean this has got to be the ultimate ultimate private collection and man cave uh, yeah let's carry on I'm not up on my classic cars but look at this Austin Healey 3000 just chilling there just been perfectly restored just looks lovely look inside this is the kind of car you just want to take out on a really, really nice summer's day. I don't know how many of these petrol pump kind of bulb signs he's got, but I mean, they're just in every room around every top. They've got to be worth a fortune in themselves. Right, I come up in my Tesla today and everyone's walking past this. I mean, I don't blame them with what's about, but it's always cool to see uh, a Tesla Plaid. I mean, uh, as a 0 to 60 uh, thrill, these, these are pretty cool, I wouldn't mind one. With everything about, I still actually really like this Focus. They've got rotiform wheels, I actually really like the wrap. Focus RS, I think that's cool, I like that. Gotta have a look at these, look. Matching livery, is that a perfect two car garage or what? So you've got the 718 Spider RS next to the uh, 918 Spider, and then this is Adam C's Chaser, but um, yeah, with matching martini liveries, I mean, uh, yeah, perfect two-car garage. Uh, before we go, I think we've got to have a quick car park tour, so lovely GT4. Another really nice pista. One of my all-time favourite Ferraris, 360 Challenge Stradale, and then chilling next to a Ferrari SF90. That looks really nice in black, with the uh, carbon fibre wheels. Lovely option. Very expensive option, but a lovely option. And then you've got this lovely 812 with this AMG GTS, and then this really, really nice uh, 360 Spider. Lovely to see people are bringing these out even in this weather. And then this Lamborghini Performante next to a Ferrari F430. I love the spec on this 911 GTS. So again, I really like the spec on this 911 Targa 4 GTS. R35 GTR. Really, really like the spec on this 296 GTB. Love the colour, but then the cream leather interior. I don't know if you can see, he's got the um, carbon bucket seat with the, uh, the cream leather inserts. That's a really nice spec. Woo! All right, it's getting a bit blowy and a bit chilly out there now. So, but um, as last... minute Sunday morning uh, dashes to a car show go this is up there uh, this is probably one of the best private car collections I've ever been to um, I, I hope I kind of captured it but it's not just the cars um, it's the memorabilia the buildings um, how the you know how it's all staged you've got mock-up like shops and things uh, he's done an amazing job it must have taken years to put that together but if you ever get the opportunity to come down to Zach's garage come down have a look for yourself amazing amazing place but um, yeah, really, really nice guy. Um, it's not just the collection and he's there. He's telling you everything about every car. He started a few cars. He tells you all the story, where he got the car, you know, all the little quirks that you'd never know about. So it's really, really nice collection. It's great that he's uh, inviting people down. He's got all these amazing cars and he's sharing them with people. So that's 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 the best thing. Uh, but I hope you liked the video. I hope you I got a bit of an insight into it. If you like the video, don't forget, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Yeah.